so far. They, they, they've used this again, and I believe rigged elections on top of it. They did not want President Trump in the Oval Office, and we're going to do everything we can as America First candidates and people around the country to get him back there in 2024. And 2022 is a big year for Congress. Republicans are expected to lead Gohmert, says the recent Durham disclosure of Hillary Clinton operatives spying on Trump while he was in office transcends mere campaign dirty tricks and amounts to a very clear violation of the law. Here's one America's John Hines. Congressman Gohmert, you're a member of the House Judiciary Committee, and you were in many of those depositions of witnesses as your committee investigated the Trump-Russian collusion narrative. But now we have John Durham, the special counsel appointed by the Trump administration, whose investigation has revealed a tech executive working with the Clinton campaign's law firm, Perkins Coie, uh, has been mining or was mining internet data. Among the secret data was that that was exploited, according to the Durham report, or according, according to Mr. Durham, was internet traffic from Trump Tower, from Trump's Central Park West apartment building, and after Trump was elected president, the executive office of the president. And according to Durham, this tech company had come to access and maintain dedicated servers of the executive office of the president as part of a, quote, sensitive arrangement to provide services and then, quote, exploited this arrangement by mining the EOP internet traffic and other data for the purposes of gathering derogatory information about Donald Trump. That is according to the latest filing from Mr. Durham. And, sir, I wanted to get your take on this latest development. Well, actually, it uh, continues to be additional evidence to support exactly what Donald Trump had said back at the time and President Trump, after he became president, that they were spying on him. And it was even worse than we knew. These latest filings uh, indicate just that. You had not only um, the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Party, but were spying, but they were creating a false narrative. They were creating fraudulently creating evidence uh, that that created the whole Russia hoax, this whole lie that Trump was colluding with Russia when actually we know now that uh, that the misinformation could have come straight from Putin operatives. Well, are you surprised, though, this his latest filing says, and it's pretty much a direct quote, he says basically this tech executive, and um, he's named in some other reports, allegedly the name is uh, Rodney Joffe, J-O-F-F-E, um, allegedly, uh, was actually spying, monitoring the president's communications, not not just as a candidate, but as president. Is that, uh, is that, does that surprise you? Well, it does surprise me that we had, you know, private individuals on behalf of Hillary and the Democratic National Committee that were spying, that were doing covert illegal activities, uh, but that's why uh, we come back to some even more incredibly serious charges. This isn't just uh, campaign tactics. This is very, very serious when we're talking about the president of the United States and one party illegally surveilling the president of the United States. We know that we have enemies abroad who try to surveil our president, try to find out what's being said, but then to find out that it's the Democrat National Committee, that it's uh, Hillary Clinton actually behind sinister spying on the U.S. president, uh, it, it's, uh, we're beginning to get a picture of all enemies foreign and then here's one that's domestic, spying on our own president illegally. First District Congressman 